Howdy YouTubers, so today I am moving some heavy equipment to, not heavy equipment as in trucks and tractors, heavy machining equipment, surface grinder. So basically this is too heavy to pick up with the tractor. So there's no way, as soon as I pick it up the back tires come off the ground. If it's off center, side to side at all, then it does some weird, weird cattywampus thing. Telephone pole sections, strap some telephone pole sections onto that with some ratchet straps and it seems to be working it's still you know we're maxed out as far as weight wise all right we're picking up the milling machine now i took the pallet jack brought it to the front spun it around it's kind of sketchy because it's a bit off camber i'm hoping that uh Man, that was close for a second there. The back tires are almost off the ground. And those things are flat. All right, here we go again. Wish me luck, peoples. So I was being really cautious driving this thing. Making sure that I didn't flip it and flop it out there on the ground. The uh, controls are not very gentle as you can tell. And the nightmare takes place. Yes. Colorful words. Yeah, that was a that was a horrible feeling. Um, so I spent probably the next hour trying to get this thing to spin around to where I could, you know, prop it back up um, without doing more damage than I'd already done. I'm like strapping it to the to that uh, surface grinder, trying to get it to spin around to where I can get it. Finally, I got it to a position where it would, you know, basically set up right on the on its base. It's actually on the pallet still, so um, <clears throat> that was, yeah, again, a horrible feeling, not knowing how much damage I had done, hoping that it wasn't ruined, or it isn't ruined at this point, and uh, when it finally got back onto its feet, I walked around, did kind of a, um, uh, a you know, once over to see what it was, and all that clanging and crashing noise was all the collets the r8 collets i had them in a little collet rack on the side and um that was what all the noise was all the clanging and crashing was all the collets falling out so that was pretty much it again worst nightmare i thought it was going to flip when i was first pulling it out of that um out of the shipping container but um a minute past there feeling pretty shitty at this moment in time you can probably just tell by my body language but um it it was definitely not what i wanted to happen all right so thanks for watching please like and subscribe just because you feel sorry for me i've got a follow-up video coming where i will uh show you what damage happened how i repaired it and it's back up and running. There's a couple of things that are still a little funky, like the dials are cracked and some other stuff. But um, other than that, it's back running. Didn't uh, damage the uh, the uh, nuts, which is uh, what I figured was going to happen. 
it's still got the same backlash that it happened before. But again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Tell all your friends about it.